Mental health days are now an excused absence in Oregon schools. The new law is one of the first of its kind across the country. We asked local districts what they're doing to keep up with a growing need to address mental health. Our Olivia Levada joins us live in the clean studio and Olivia, you headed on over to Coppers Cove ISD to get some insight. That's right, and they let me know when it comes to promoting mental wellness, students and staff work to get ahead of the problem. I've, I've had family. My cousin has actually taken her life due to suicide. Suicide prevention is super important because we're seeing an alarming increase in suicidality in young kids. And what we want to do is be proactive. We don't want to be reactive. It's important to check in on our children. It's important to um, communicate with them, to have them feel connected to the individuals that they see every day at school. And the loss of a loved one inspired Elijah Dela Cruz to make a difference through the Coppers Cove chapter of the Distributive Education Clubs of America, also known as DECA. In suicide prevention, we're trying to go around the community and get the early signs of it. Uh, stop it before it gets to that point. And Start With Hello is one program that we're using to get to that point. We believe that with the Start With Hello project, a simple hello to anyone who feels isolated can just change their whole mind state and affect whether they carry out violent actions. I've actually like tried that once and uh, you know, I made a very good friend with it. Recently, the state of Oregon decided to take a new approach. Oregon will allow students to take mental health days just as they would sick days, expanding the reasons for excused school absences to include mental or behavioral health under a new law. And although experts say the new law is one of the first of its kind across the nation, CCISD staff and students say they are also working on solutions. We are too in transition and in change to address better the mental health needs of each and every student. Um, what we are currently putting in place is that School counselors are going to be able to work more closely with the kids in regards to mental health and wellness. Um, we have yeah, academic advisors that are going suggest, to be working right. on the academic side of things to, to make sure that each and every student is matriculating through um, high school um, as they should. The students say the effort goes a long way. Our young people are our future, future of the countries, future of the nations, and without the young people we don't have very much left. CCISD's House Creek Elementary was the first campus to incorporate Start With Hello program, which started as a call to action after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. And now the group of students is working to introduce it to the rest of the district. In Colleen, Olivia Leveda, Central Texas News Now. So important, Olivia, thank you. The most recent numbers show that in Texas in 2017, more than 3,000 deaths were caused by suicide. And of that number, 311 of those people were between 10 and 19 years old.